This video is about managing your inventory for your point of sale products. So to do that, go to the configuration menu and down to practice and then down to point of sale. And here are all of your point of sale products that you have currently. And uh, from left to right, there is a checkbox here if you want to delete one, but we don't recommend that because that will make this CPT code available for use again. So we recommend you simply click deactivate if you want to deactivate a product and then click the save button here. So then the next column is your provider number. The CPT code right here is a number that starts with the letter CH so you can filter for them and it has the price that you charge for the product and don't put your wholesale price in here otherwise you won't make any money of course so this is the price you're going to charge and this is a short description so for this one uh, somebody added a sweater yesterday and then once again here's a longer description so it's a warm sweater and what it shows here is how many items you have left next to an empty barcode space of course if you had a barcode this is where you would put it in so it shows how many items are left three and the items threshold is three that means when you get down to three like this one is a ticket will open to you to remind you to order more so then you'll have everything on hand that you need and then you can see here the last column is updated by this will be the person that has done that and there's one column to the right off the screen which just has the date and the time so I left that out to condense this a little bit so here are all of your products and then if you would like to add a new one click the add new button and once again on the left is the delete checkbox or deactivate and your provider number and here is where we need a new CPT code for the new product so you should just be able to hit enter after clicking in that box and here we go here comes the list of all of the available numbers so let me just click one so this is going to be a CH code of 0013 what's the price going to be oh well let's just say fifty dollars uh, the tax would be your local tax percentage in your county I'll say seven for that uh, short description what sort of product would cost fifty dollars let's say uh, multivitamins and a long description would be expensive multivitamins whoops no barcode items left uh, we're gonna start out with 10 that's our inventory and then the threshold when we reorder is going to be five so then we click save okay now that we're finished you hit return to go back to your list and here's the product that we just added and you can actually click and change the name there if you like you can change the long name you can change the tax you can change the price and then you can also change the inventory if you had more that came in and you can change the threshold all right here on this same screen so good luck with that, and that's all there is to this. It's easy.